Hey guys, it's me, and this is not a good spot, is it? I think that's better. I've got you sitting on my bag, and of course I've got hair in my mouth. I've got on my new Sheila Fajal earrings. If you have purchased these off of my website, I'm sure you're thinking, how the heck do you put these on? You just have to be patient. I have learned to try to get the thing in the hole first and then kind of cup it up in my ear and then it goes on perfectly. But they just give a lot of look for what they are. I am down here at the pool and boat docks and we just did a cut all Lisa's t-shirts. I think I cut probably four of them. They were literally t-shirts that I love that were just hanging in my closet. And I know that I will wear them more now, especially in the summer, after I have cut the sleeves off. One I did like in a cap sleeve, and I didn't cut any of them right here just because that's not what I want, but that's so easy. But I hope I explained everything. The main points I want to get across are just don't sweat it you know just do it it's going to curl up after you wash it matter of fact when you pull it it curls up and start out like I did with some t-shirts that are inexpensive that if you mess up you know you can like learn from them you can even go to Goodwill or like the Salvation Army and probably find some really cool t-shirts I know Target has really cool t-shirts and so does Walmart so kind of start with that and I showed you one that I got oh it's buried down here in my bag I got one from Amazon that's like a muscle t-shirt type thing it says good vibes and I love it I love the way it fits it Dry, washed and dried perfectly so that's like another good option i'm going to get to the footage of us cutting some t-shirts and i appreciate you being here bye bye so here we are we're down here at the docks because i wanted just good light and um you know i wanted something prettier that i didn't want the rug that i have in my room so the first one we're going to do is this anin bing and there's so many different ways you can do this. I am not going to do anything really complicated. A lot of people, they'll take what they cut off, cut it in strips, tie it on different things. I like just a simple, simple look. And I will show you some different, you know, looks that I like, like with each T. So the thing is, what I noticed is, it's just not that big of a deal. When I used to sew, I would get so hung up in the details. And I finally realized that most other girls that were making handbags or window treatments, they were just getting it done. And I would get so hung up in the measurements and the rules. And so don't get hung up on that. The, I think the main thing is just have fun with it. Don't worry about it. You know, and like this is an expensive t-shirt, so I'm not going to do a lot of crazy cutting with it. And one thing I wanted to show you is like this t-shirt that I purchased from Amazon. Well, I wear this and I know that I love it. So that is something that you can do. If you already have like a t-shirt or a bodysuit or just anything that you already know, you know, it covers up your bra or exposes it, whatever one you want. You can use it as a template. You can see this one really doesn't work that well on this t-shirt because this t-shirt is kind of oversized and boxy. That's another thing is you need to take into consideration before you think about where you're going to cut it off. You want to think about how wide is the shirt, how thick is it just how it's going to hang. So pay attention to it when you're wearing it or when you try it on and then just kind of go from there. So I like all different styles. This is the one that I cut uh, that you guys saw just the other day. And see, it's, it's a very thin t-shirt. It's thinner than this one. So this t-shirt I've got here is going to just, you can see it's wider. It's going to hang probably it's still going to hang boxier 
and you can see I probably don't want to cut it that short because I would be cutting that off so just different little things to consider and then here is my other t-shirt that I cut off and I, I have found that the thinner and kind of um, I hate to say cheaper but I'm gonna say cheaper the t-shirt the more it rolls up like that and you know so if I, if I were going to just really try to cut one up and play around, I would use an inexpensive t-shirt and, you know, just get that look, have fun with it. Like this is the kind that I would love to wear over a bathing suit and I would probably just cut the neck out if when I was younger, that's what I would do. This one I really like and I really like wearing it with those high rise Abercrombie jeans. It looks really good with that. Okay, and then the last thing that I brought is this, that I actually bought like this, and I wore it tucked in, but you guys get the point. I love this type of sleeve, too, where you're just leaving, you know, a little bit. This doesn't have it, actually have that seam, but you could still use it kind of as a guide to where to cut this one. So if you wanted to leave like a little cap sleeve, I looked up the video that really inspired me. Um, there's a look with Gigi Hadid that has always inspired me with the cutoff tee. And then there's one from Naomi Campbell. And so I went back to that today and noticed that instead of, let me find my scissors here. I had to bring my small scissors. Really, the other t-shirts I cut, I cut them with the kitchen scissors, which was probably not the thing to do, but I wasn't really worried about it and when you cut your seams they're gonna curl up even before I'll show you even before you wash it they curl up so I mean you want to get them even to an extent but don't stress over it and I don't think it's worth you know trying I've got a rotary cutter that I used to use for cutting patterns and cutting fabric and stuff I don't think that's necessary I think just a sharp pair of scissors will make it easier. For this one, I think I'm going to do something a little different. Okay, let me take this shirt, for example. I just cut like right here on this one. I just literally went by the sleeve line. But I want one that comes a little bit further and maybe a little bit in. So I am just going to do like this. I really want to maybe, oh, <laughs> the geese are going over. I really want to maybe to be a little bit lower cut. So I'm just going to start off like this. And I'm going to leave this on because the look I want, I still want the collar. And then I want this. So what you do is as soon as you pull that, it's going to tuck in for you like that. And I don't know if I want to crop this one. I think I'm going to leave this one. So you can either flip this over like this and just match this up and match this up and cut that or you could use this and lay it on top either way or quite honestly you could eye it. You could cut it while it's on. It doesn't matter. It's not. Okay, so I'm going to come in at an angle here and just connect up to that like that and get that little extra like you can wear a um, crop top underneath it or a fancy bra or um, bikini top something like that boy this one's uneven okay and 
you'll see as soon as you wash it and pull it, it is just going to look good. Next one I want to do is this Ramones t-shirt. I have never worn it. This is a drapier t-shirt. I think what I'm going to do with this one, I am going to do like Naomi did. And the only thing I'm going to do with this one is cut off the sleeves. Now I noticed I have been cutting the sleeves off. She cut right here at the seam. So you just want to make sure you've I might even do one side at a time. Like that. And I noticed that leaving this seam left a little, I don't know, like a little pucker. off here but all of this after I wash them it will curl right up and I think I'm gonna crop this one too going to like draw up okay now when you're cutting the bottom Hold it up to you and decide where you want it to come and cut it a little longer because it's going to curl up and it's probably going to shrink. So I've already cut this one and I know it was a good length. So I'm going to kind of match this up. So basically I just probably want to cut it below those stars. Okay, I'm going to just eye it and cut it about halfway like this and then flip your t-shirt over and just cut it the rest of the way. It's not going to be exact but it will be to the point where it doesn't, you can't tell. And then I saw people, I watched a few videos, there were some girls that took this part and made it a tube top and wore it under the shirt and cut the sleeves down. I mean, there's just so many things you can do, but I really don't want that. I just basically, you know, just, I like them when they're a little cropped, especially when a t-shirt, sometimes they're just not flattering. And, um, you know, even under a blazer, this is going to look good and it'll be less bunchy I think it'll hang better I think I will enjoy this more without the sleeves and you know like this here is the last one now this is already kind of like a you know cropped style t-shirt so I am not going to crop it anymore but I do think that I will wear it more if it does if it's sleeveless in the summer so I was thinking I might take this one that I already know I love the shape of and just kind of see how much okay I think I can just actually do what I've been doing and cut the just cut the sleeves off and it's going to be what I want so I'm just going to If you're like me, I always was so worried about cutting these, but really if I'm not wearing them, uh, yeah, that's going to look so much better. And then as soon as you pull it, this one, I don't think I'm going to cut that. I think I like it just like it is. Okay. And then this, I'm just going to do the same thing cut it so you have a choice whether to cut it 
you know, before or after this seam. It's a totally different look. If you really love your shoulders, then you might like it like this, but I do like the cap sleeve too. That is so cute. Okay, and the last one that I brought, we're gonna do something different with. This is my Bridget tee. And I thought we would do this one with the cap sleeve. And we take this and line it up somewhat. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's see, let's line it up like this. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do it like that. Yes, that's gonna look cute. And I, what I'll do is just wash these before I wear them. Okay, so this sleeve, you can just put it right over here and make it like a pattern. All kinds of creative things. Now, I, you notice I haven't cut the neck out of any of mine. I think I just like it. I think I like it like it is. I don't want to cut this one. I like the, um, I think the sleeves being like that are going to be enough. And I think I'm going to keep this the length because I might want to tuck it in. So I just wanted to pick you up really quick and do you see where I am? I'm at, that's the clubhouse and the pool and I'm down here at the end of the marina and then the ocean, I don't think you'll be able to see it, is that way. It goes out to the waterway and right down there they're working on another, I think like a kayaking boat dock type thing ramp type thing so love it i love this so much i need a picture of that in my new room so i will probably see you guys maybe i'll just when we get in the car we'll finish up